Lovesickness describes the informal syndrome of rejected or unrequited love or the absence of a loved one and covers physical as well as mental symptoms. It is not to be confused with the condition of being low-vestruck. Although typically harmless it can for some personalities lead to serious physical or mental illness, sometimes even culminating in attempted suicide. In psychology, lovesickness is seldom acknowledged. Many people believe lovesickness to be an illness created as an explanation to longings, but it can cause depression and lead to various mental health problems. Lovesickness can make one feel either extremely sad and disappointed or very happy and overexcited. Love is mental illness, literature and poetry have often described love as a kind of madness, and the medical profession takes a similar approach. According to the Hippocratic Medicine view, passionate love will almost always fade or turn into love melancholy a euro unregistered trademark a euro this is a form of depression or sadness. Passionate love is the love in the honeymoon phase, the beginning of new love, but it burns itself out after a year or two. Compassionate love is what occurs after passionate love fades, it is a stronger bond of companionship. In both cases, love sickness can be experienced if love is lost or unrequited. In 1915, Sigmund Freud asked rhetorically, isn't what we mean by falling in love a kind of sickness and craziness, an illusion, a blindness to what the loved person is really like? Long before Freud, in 360 BCE, Plato stated, a euro oe love is a serious mental disease, a euro and Socrates added that a euro oe love is a madness a euro. Love sickness is an a euro unregistered trademark t just a form of expression for those head over heels, but has been studied as an actual illness. Scientific study on the topic of love sickness has found that those in love experience a kind of high similar to that caused by illicit drugs such as cocaine. In the brain, certain neurotransmitters are europhenethylamine, dopamine, norepinephrine and excitocin a euro elicit the feeling of high from a euro oe love a euro or a euro oe falling in love a euro using 12 different regions of the brain. These neurotransmitters mimic the feeling of amphetamines. On average a psychologist does not get referrals from general practitioners mentioning love sickness, although this can be prevalent through the language of what the patient feels. With the common symptoms of love sickness being related to other mental diseases, it is often misdiagnosed or it is found that with all the illnesses one could be facing, love is the underlying problem. This is incredibly dangerous when one does not seek help or cannot cope because love has been known to be fatal. Symptoms Frank Tallis, a researcher in the topic of love and love sickness, suggests in his 2005 article that love sickness occurs when one is a euro or a truly, madly, deeply a euro in love and should be taken more seriously by medical professionals. Similarly, health experts agree that love sickness has been known to kill and the diagnosis process should be taken more seriously. Symptoms of love sickness are usually misdiagnosed for various other diseases or mental health issues such as OCD, this is because love sickness is less commonly recognized as a mental health issue in itself even though love sickness is an extremely common, widespread disease. Tallis includes a list of common symptoms of love sickness, mania, an abnormally elevated mood or inflated self-esteem, depression, nausea, tearfulness, insomnia, which may lead to fatigue, lack of concentration, loss of appetite or overeating, hopelessness or helplessness, stress, high blood pressure, pain in chest and heart, acute insomnia, sometimes brought on by a crush, obsessive compulsive disorder, preoccupation and hoarding valueless but superstitiously resonant items, psychologically created physical symptoms, such as upset stomach, change in appetite, insomnia, dizziness, and confusion, according to Tallis, many symptoms of being lovesick can be categorized under the DSM-IV and the ICD-10. Obsessive-compulsive disorder is a symptom of love sickness because it includes a preoccupation, this would include constantly checking one's cell phone, Facebook, the hoarding of valueless items, etc. A further study conducted by Italian psychiatrist Donatella Marazzitti found that when people fall in love their estimated serotonin levels drop to levels found in patients with OCD, this level is significantly lower than that of an average or healthy person. Literature William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet portrays the true madness of love, 
and the grief that the two young, infatuated lovers feel. When Romeo finds his love dead, with the thought of living without his true love, the grief and depression overcomes him and he takes his own life. Juliet, after awaking and upon seeing his dead body is also overcome with despair and takes her own life. See also, Broken Heart, Hi Y-I-T-C-K, Emma Jave Indian Syndrome Triggered by Separation of a Loved One, Limerence. References. Further reading, Frank Tallis Love Sick, Love is a Mental Illness, Trisha Vaughan Love Sickness is Real, and The Hyde provides looks a lot like cocaine usage.